Alright, so this cute girl from Houston just ran into this black boy that said some white people grabbed him and said they was going to kill him. And the EMS and police people do not believe him. Running full speed, he did not even want to talk to me. 
It happens. Two boys just got home from off of Craigslist. It happens all the time. I'm about to tell because I, oh Lord. Like, come on. He 13. And I seen his face. He was scared. He told me when he got up in the car, first of all, he didn't even want, want to talk to me. When um, I pulled up on the side of him, I was like, are you okay? Because I seen him running oh, straight across Wayside. Okay. This way on Wayside? I was, going, I was going up this way so on Wayside. Going, yeah. Crossing? Like, no. You know where Wayside, you know where YMCA is? On Wayside, yeah, you familiar that, with Locksmith? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm coming so up this way. Is on this side. The YMCA is to my left. Mm -hmm. And I seen him. I, I passed the YMCA up. So you it's, a lock, yeah, yeah. it's a street called Locksley. It's a street Locksley. I seen, when I first seen him, he like ran across the street. From the... From from the right side. Like, well, cars passing. He was just from, running. From the, uh, from the YMCA side to... To the across the street, yeah. Okay, so, so right, I was now, like, right now we're north. I'm not really, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of shook up myself because I, I never. Yeah, I just want to try to so, yeah. get what you, you so saw. When so he, we're north right here, so the YMCA is going to be on this side. The YMCA you know, right here. No, past them appointments. Yeah, yeah okay. Pass so all that up, there. keep going. And it's a street locksley yeah, to yeah, my yeah, right. Yeah, to my right, right? So you're coming this way on North West I was side? coming that way. So locksley was on my right. Okay. Okay, so, so you're heading towards the train track? Yeah, headed okay. towards that. Wow. And I York. seen him running. Yup. Yeah, that's why I was on my way home. I seen him running. So I was like, this is the boy running across the street. So, so I just some just told so when me you, when to, he ran when he ran across the street. So you're going towards on the, I seen him running. He like he so actually he ran, ran in front of me. Okay. Missing calls, yeah. Okay. So I'm like, this is the boy running. So I turned and I was like, You okay? He's still running though. He was just like, Yes, ma'am, and just like kept running. So I turned around again because I'm like, no. So when I seen him, actually seen him like ripped up and stuff, you know, I got out the car. I was like, you know, I'm committed here. I have kids. I just want you to tell me, are you okay? He was just shaking and he was just like, somebody took me. So I, for that's what he was saying at first. He said, somebody took me. So I say, well, you got a phone. You got, you know, your mom's number. And I called his, her mom, his mom. In the process of me calling, waiting for her to pick up, he explained to me more. I sent him in the AC because he was, like, sweating. And he was just like, this man grabbed me in the car, and he took me. And he said, he held me down, and he let the boys jump on me. And he said, they took my shoes, and they took me to a place. That's all he kept saying. And about the tattoo situation, he said that, I asked him, I was like, you know, is they black, white? You know, of course. And he was like, they were white. All of them were white. Yeah, basically. And he was saying that when I got on the phone with her, she said that they've been calling the phone all day saying that they was going to kill him and she wasn't going to see him no more. So I don't know if he they let him out or he jumped out or what what what, what happened. Okay. I just saw him and I just knew something went right. All right. So, so I'm just going to go off of what you told me. Okay. All right. So you're going, you're on Northway site heading towards Little York. Yeah. All right. And then he ran from on Loxley, across the street from Loxley, across North Wayside. And you mm -hmm. saw him, you're running full speed, yeah. crying. Yeah. And you stopped and you told him, you know, hey, what's yeah. going on? Try to come Twice. To the Twice. first time he kept running. He didn't talk to me the first time. Did he keep on going down Loxley? He kept going. Okay. So you went, turned on the I, I, Yeah, I, I turned around. I made that U turn illegally. And I turned around again. And I was like, nah, something not right. And that's when I stopped. And I was like, I got out the car. I was like, no, no, no. Like, what's what's going on? And, then he told you and that's when he told me. Yeah. And my partner got your information. Partner? Yeah, he got uh, my information. They finna give her a ticket for that illegal U turn, y'all. <laughs> He's talking about my partner got all your information. Yeah. <laughs> You're okay, baby. You're okay. Just stay going. It yeah. wasn't let the boy go away. It wasn't let the boy go away because I wasn't even going to go down this street. I wasn't even going to go down this street. Were you just going to go down this street? 
You shout the message. No. Because he acts like he. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So he pissed me the fuck off. How long were you running before this lady? He acts like he don't believe you. And that's sad. What'd you say? I'm talking to her, sir. And I have a right to talk. I say because of the questions that you're asking, it's like. What? That doesn't happen. Like, it happens. Racism is still alive and fine. Okay, but like I said, thank God. All right, hey man, we're okay, uh, he's upset because he's upset because I said racism still exists. He's questioning this little boy, like this little boy is lying about what he's saying. So he's pissed off. Racism still does exist. He know what the tattoo was. He explained the tattoo to me. It was a racist tattoo. And not an MLM is going to leave it. So you see this? He's mad he's leaving. They're leaving because I said that this is what it is. He's asking this little boy questions like this little boy is lying. I wish I got his phone. Okay? I want y'all to know that y'all gonna only get this video exclusive on my channel because somebody sent it to me on Facebook and then when I tried to click on the link, that sucker said it doesn't exist no more. So it's only playing on my inbox because <laughs> if I click out of this, it's gone. She deleted it. That's another reason why I'm being quiet because y'all can't get this video nowhere else. One thing he said, because I asked the first time I said that it was black or that was white. And he said white. Yeah, I'm charging. She has text messages. Oh. I can't believe it. In the whole chair and the kid. Dang. Thank you. 
his mother all day. Saying that they was gonna hang him, they was gonna kill him. She showing him the, them text messages. So it was race post profile, and they took this little boy, and they was planning on killing this little boy. And somehow he got away. And I, I thank God that I was right there at the right place at the right time. This is ridiculous. And I she, she may be ratchet, but she cute. <laughs> she real cute, and her voice cute. And I'm only going live because I'm getting ready to share these since, since the Mexican motherfucking ambulance men say, oh, it doesn't happen in Houston. That sounds funny. It sounds funny. That don't sound right. Say it. It still exists. As I can see right here in our neighborhood. Just don't. Let it charge. Don't open it or don't do it at all. He told her, y'all. Did y'all hear that? This doesn't happen in Houston. What type of emergency personnel is going to say this don't happen here? Crime happens anywhere. Racism can happen anywhere. That's all. These first responders need they tail whooped. All y'all need from me? Okay. Give me a hug, baby. Give me a hug. You're going to be okay, okay? All right. I'm going to call and check on you, okay? Tell your mama bye. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all. I just shook up because, like, <laughs> wow. Hey, I was saying, you know, I was about to go. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. I you don't mind me sharing this because I want them to see what That's them right. Evelyn see. This, right. this is his mother. That's right. And she giving me permission. I want them to see what he that's did, right. how he act. Yeah, that's right. Okay. You take care. God bless. I'm going to call and check on you. Save thank my you. number. Okay. That's why I told you. I, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I have, I have one. You have to know the number, budget. No, uh-uh. I got everything I need here. Okay, and let me know if y'all need me to do anything else. Yeah, yeah. Anything. Investigator might, might contact you. Yeah. Huh? An investigator might contact you. Okay, that's fine. So just any weird numbers? Yeah. Just any okay. Weird, uh, no eight hundred number. Okay. Right, okay. Yeah. No eight hundred number. Yeah, the yeah. bill collector. Yeah. All right, but I, 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 I you're welcome. You're welcome. That was never gone. That's all. You gonna be okay, okay, man? All right, y'all take. She said them bill collectors. Who remember uh Mike Jones' number from Houston? Two eight one three three zero eight zero zero four. Hit Mike Jones up on low, cause Mike Jones about to blow. Be careful. Be careful. Well, y'all, that was like unexpected. Like I did not expect to run. Y'all see how it is when you when you have the camera flipped. I told y'all, now it look like she overseas. It look like her, she's in a passenger seat, but now she's in the driver's seat. That's how it is. I keep trying to explain to y'all how the camera looks flipped like that. When you're thinking about the uh, Tyro and lives and all that. Just keep that in mind. Run against, like, run, run, like, I did not expect that at all, y'all. I ain't read y'all comments. Hold on. But I'm about to share this, and I want everybody to share it, too. Because that, that Mexican motherfucker that y'all seen, oh, that bitch is racist. That bitch racist. This bitch, that motherfucker was out there interrogating this little boy, talking about how did you know they had, how did you know it was a racist tattoo? Bitch, the little boy said it. Who don't know, who, what, 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 the little boy is 13. Who don't, who don't know what a Confederate flag look like? These little kids seeing this shit, bye. These little kids saying this shit on the news, people getting killed and shit. What the fuck you mean? How he don't know? That's the first thing he said when he got in the car. That's the first thing I asked as a mother. Was they black or white? He said they were all white. She's a MILF. 
as a mother. She's a MILF. His mom said that they've been texting the phone and calling the phone all day saying, fuck your child, you're not going to see your child anymore. He's going to die. And that was, and, 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 this, and, and God put me in that place. Like, y'all know I don't fucking cry, but y'all be careful. Y'all watch y'all kids, bro. Like, watch y'all kids and pray for y'all kids, because that could have been some shit that would have been on the fucking news. And the fact that this motherfucker gonna sit here in front of this little boy while this traumatic ass shit happens to him and look him in his face and like basically say he a fucking liar. Stuff like that don't happen in Houston? What you mean stuff like that don't happen in Houston? Two black so y'all see she on live. Either she on live or she doing a video. Yeah, she said she let me read the comments. So she on live and somebody keep calling her. People do that on purpose. That boys just got hung in Baton Rouge last weekend on Craigslist for a Craigslist sale gone wrong. And he mean to say that shit don't happen in fucking Houston. Like it ain't no racist. And then he left the little boy. He didn't even ask them did they want to go. Did he want to go to the hospital? Like, are you serious? What you mean the Craigslist sale gone wrong? If people got hung. That wasn't a sale to begin with. Mm-mm. That was a setup. And also, they didn't even try to take DNA from the boy to find out who did this. They just left him. Mm-mm-mm. I want y'all to share this. Like, once I post this, like, please share this. And let them know, like, this shit is still happening. Like, they are taking people's kids. They are taking people's kids. Like, they are taking people's kids. And... Like I, I can't I still can't believe it. I still can't believe it. I still can't. Like I still can't believe that. Like I just thank God that I that I saw him and I thank God that I follow my heart and that I picked this little boy up. I'm gonna end this because I don't wanna cry on camera. I'm not trying to cry on camera, but y'all saw he's okay now. His mom gave me permission. She wants y'all to share this video to show you that the shit, basically, the shit still exists. He was getting off the bus, off of the school bus, and a white man grabbed him, put him in a car, and the other white, the, the he said there was some more, it was a, some more, a group of boys was holding him down, beating him up in the backseat. They took him to a fucking building. This happened, his mom say he's been missing since 4 o'clock. They took him to a building and said that they was going to kill him. They called his mama in front of him and said that they wasn't, he, she wasn't going to see him anymore. And this motherfucker looked up in this little boy's face and said, that don't happen in Houston. Y'all share this live video, please. Like share share this and just and, and and show them that this shit still goes around and y'all saw I got permission y'all know I don't do all that fucking social media shit but I I feel like I had to get on live to show y'all how ignorant motherfuckers is and how ignorant like people like like people can just be how can you sit up in a little boy's face that's just been abducted no telling what the man was doing to him. Or what they all was doing to him. That could have been the last time he this lady saw her son. And you looked up in his face and called him a lie. And questioned and interrogating him. How you know they was racist? Oh, uh, because the motherfucker said that they didn't like black people. You clearly heard the boy say it more than one time. He told me. Y'all, let me get off this fucking live. Share this live, y'all. She sound like, uh... <laughs> The other lady in the um video talking about um Yeah share my lie share my lie did you put tears in my eyes G See look I don't even know who she is or nothing Y'all let me know what y'all think about this